Hello, my name is Leah Fabula, and today I will be presenting on Johann Amos Comenius. Comenius was born in the year of 1592 and died in the year of 1670. Comenius lived during the 17th century in which there was a development from the traditional ways into a more modern society. In addition, Comenius was also one of the major influences into a progressive movement from the traditional to a more modern society. Now, in regards to Comenius' philosophical views, most importantly or more particularly in ethics, Comenius believed that ethics could be characterized into two, into two different concepts. The first one being virtue ethics and the second being universal ethics. Now with virtue ethics, this could also be characterized into two different ideas. One being free will, and the second one being choosing wisely. This was all under the category of prudence or prudentia, which was a concept thought of by Aristotle. Now with free will, humans could make choices and decide on anything they want without thinking of how it would affect them or impact them negatively or positively. And in choosing wisely, humans had more control over what they decide. They had more control over their thoughts and the thoughts of other people and they wanted to analyze their thoughts before they acted upon it in order to make the right decision. Now, with those two concepts that are somehow similar and somehow different, Comenius believed that there was a balance between them. Now, the second part of the characteristic of ethics in Comenius' beliefs was universal ethics. And in universal ethics, this focused more on a society that worked and united well together in which everyone got along. This was a perfect society in which everyone was treated well and fair by others. Now, connecting Comenius ethics and his belief on ethics into his belief on knowledge, Comenius had three words in Latin to describe his opinion of knowledge and that is everyone everything perfectly one translated into English from Latin into English that would be everyone everything perfectly and this is related to universal ethics because Comenius believed that everyone would work and develop and progress well into a better society if everyone worked together, if everyone was able to collaborate and cooperate all of their ideas together. He believed in social communication, in social justice. He believed that in education, everyone had the opportunity to learn. Now, in his educational ideas, he believed that a man's, or the study of man, could be found in the study of man's education. Education was the main goal for Comenius. He wanted to refine education. He wanted to enhance education. He believed in the critical and significance of education in society. In fact, he believed that in education, it could or well, the concept and the thoughts learned in education cohered or went in relation to the uh, problems and the issues that men face with nature or in a more general term with society. Now, what I mean by that is that when it comes to social issues, people can learn how to better that 
through education and how to fix their problems through education. Comenius also was able to contribute his works in education such as the books of the books that he created or wrote which was the great didactic and orbis pictus now the most important book was orbis pictus because this book contributed to the education of uh, science and literature and other aspects because this was the first picture book ever created in this picture book he uses pictures as symbols as emblems and we can see a lot of that now because that helped with describing informational text into a better symbolism and helping children read better he was able to contribute to education science especially for those who are younger the children the younger generation early childhood because he wanted them to be able to learn as well and he focused on the science of children because he believed that they could grow and reach their maximum learning abilities through the proper upbringing the proper development the proper training and the proper instruction now there were many people who were for Comenius but there were some who thought he was against Catholicism and against uh, their own beliefs because they believe that he was a politician but I don't in my opinion I don't think that Comenius was trying to be a politician I just believe that he wanted to make a better society in which everyone got along in which there would be fairness social justice and I believe that Comenius wanted everyone to value education which is why he was able to voice out his own opinions even though they may seem strong and more developed for uh, other people's thinking during his time because more people in his time were believing in the more traditional aspects than the than the modern aspects that we believe of education today and we still see that people are still following traditional aspects of education but there is now a major movement a major change and a drastic difference from how people taught before to how people teach now and i believe that is because of johan Caminius. thank you